finish your roast now and in the background you've got your stock bubbling away and that's got all your veg vegetable debris in it that you were putting in there while you were preparing the roast. So what you need to do now is get all the chicken carcass, leftover bones and whatnot, pop them all in the pot there and you need to cook that for another good two or three hours to get, get the stock nice and juicy. What you'll be doing then is you'll be cooking some of the goodness out of the bones. So what you make is sort of, a sort of like na natural glucosamine soup, which nourishes your body, nourishes your your joints, tendons, ligaments. With it, so it's like a natural supplement, excellent for recovery. Okay, that's been bubbling away nicely for two or three hours and a half. The stock's nice and juicy. All we've got to do now is get the get the, all the debris and the and the bones out of the mix. So we've just got the pure stock. And that's the base for making our soup. Okay, so I'm going to strain this. And what you'll need is a is a is a sieve or a colander, and pour it through the sieve, and that will catch all the bones. So you've got your liquid stock. What you want to do now is transfer that to another clean pan and start simmering it away, and then adding all your other bits and bobs to make the proper tom yum soup. Now into this one, I've added some mixed peppers, some bamboo shoots other bits and pieces like that and I'm going to throw in some nice tiger prawns towards the end. Peppers, I've just got a mixed bag of green, red and yellow peppers in, in a frozen bag there so I've just popped those in and the bamboo shoots you can get tinned in most uh, supermarkets. Now this is a really sneaky way of getting all the herbs and spices that are required for Tom Yum soup in one hit. You can use fresh ingredients which would be better, but for me this is a real fail safe method. Obviously the spices in there are medicinal, so they, they help anti-inflammatory uh, processes in the body, they help thin the blood, so that's going to get you on the road to recovery. So you just want to put two large dessert spoons full of that Tom Yum soup paste, that will serve about three people. You can make it stronger if you like, but it is fa fairly fiery. So you might want to go on uh, the conservative side if you're not that used to chilli. Right, so the tom yum soup paste has gone in now. We'll let that dissolve through the liquid and then it's nearly ready to add the prawns. And then we'll be game on. I want to get that soup nice and hot just before I put the prawns in. Because you just want to heat them through so they don't get too rubbery. If you leave them boiling in that liquid, they'll just shrivel up and won't taste very great. Okay, in go the, in go the tiger prawns. That soup's going to be ready in two minutes. What you've got there is a really rich, spicy tom yum soup, which will really help ward off any colds and flu. It will raise your energy levels and assist recovery, particularly if you've trained very hard or just played a match. Right, it's the end of Sunday now. You've cooked a full roast. You've done a bolognese which you can turn into a chilli and you can freeze that so you can use it throughout the week for snacks or for supper. Although it's been a good two, two or three hours cooking today, it's going to save you loads of time in the week. You've had a lovely tom yum soup that you can tuck into as a little snack. You can keep that in the fridge for two or three days after you've made it. So that's the end of your Sunday ritual.